Hello ladies and welcome back to Gray Your Way. I am Faith and today I have two sensational units for you. One is a Dashley unit. She's a salt and pepper and the other one is a Kinky Edges unit. The Dashley unit is called number eight. You guys may remember that they started a line of salt and pepper units and it went up to number six. Well now I have number seven and number eight. This is number seven that I'm going to do for you today, and I'm doing the gray color that you see there, and I believe it's called M51. So I'm going to be reviewing that wig for you today. I'm also going to be reviewing this wig, which is also an M44. Well, the first one's M51. This is M44, and this one is a 13 by 6 HD lace kinky edges, 13 by 6 bob. Uh, 14 inches. That's what it's called. 13 by 6 bob 14 inches. And again, I have her in the color M44. So this is a 44 in terms of a gray color. And then the other one is a 51 in terms of a gray color. Yeah. So just want to let you guys know those are the two that I'm going to be reviewing. I am probably going to be doing something different with these wigs than you might have seen. This wig, which is the um, Dashley unit, which is the salt and pepper unit, this wig is typical cap construction, but it's a lace part. It has two combs. Well, actually, not true. He has, it has one comb in the front and a comb in the back. It has adjustable straps, and that's it. So this is that unit in 51. Okay, this is the Dashley unit that we're going to do today. What I'm going to do different is that this particular unit, which is the 13 by 4 kinky lace unit, this bob... Again, it's 14 inches. She is a 13 by 6. She has two combs in the front, a comb in the back, adjustable straps, and an elastic band. The difference with this unit is got those curly or kinky edges, as you call it. They call them the kinky edges. I am not going to be using those. So just want to let you know, my hair does not have kinky edges, so I am not going to be utilizing these kinky edges. But I'm going to figure out a creative way to do something with them other than allowing them to just be curly and kinky like that. So if you're interested in seeing what I do with these two wigs, just keep so watching. I am back for the first wig, which is the 13 by 6. I cut off some of the baby hairs you saw. And I left just a little bit on it, but then I straightened it with a hot comb. So I'm going to put this on and see what I can do with this now. Okay, right away, I'll tell you that this unit is medium head friendly. It's not big head friendly, it's medium head friendly, and this is a lot of hair. So, um, let me show you well how long it looks. That's how long it is, and I'll show you what the back looks like. There she is in the back. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is go back to my brush and really try to flatten this out some more. And you have probably seen a video that I did where I showed you how to thin out a really thick unit. You could probably thin this out as well, but I'm just using this brush to kind of flatten it a little bit more. And I still haven't decided whether I'm going to do a middle part or a side part or what I'm going to do with this yet. I'm just trying to flatten out some of this hair. All right, so I guess I need to make a decision. I need to decide whether it's going to be a flip over, whether it's going to be a side part or what it's going to be and then start flattening it a, a little bit more with my um, comb. So let's see here. Make sure my sides are in the right place. So it looks like this is not quite uh, even on the sides. Let me just take care of that real quick. All right. Okay, so looking at this unit and with the combs in it, I really think that I'd be taking these combs out if I glue this unit down. And I think, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to cut this off because honest to goodness, um, this is not going to work for me with these kinky edges. So I'm just going to take this off altogether. Yeah. Yep, it just isn't going to work for me. So if you're looking for somebody to show you how to use the kinky edges, I'm not the one. <laughs> I'm pretty much taking them off and uh, figuring out something else to do with this unit. Okay, um, I'm thinking I'm going to want a side part. So I'm going to make this 
a side part. Getting my comb caught in it. And I'm making it a right side part. I don't know why, but I am. I'm usually a left side part person, as most of you guys who know me know. This might be a wig that you are going to have to pluck out some of the part. I have not plucked out the part in a long time, but this might be a unit that you want to do that with. So I'm going to go ahead and start brushing it down some more. Okay, yeah, I am just going to try to flatten this down somewhat. But honestly, I think she's beautiful. She's just really thick. Not a lot, just a yeah. little one. And there's not really much else I intend to do with this unit. It's straight. So, I mean, you know, unless you were planning on curling it or something, it's really not um, a whole lot else you can do with it. Um, I like it like this, on the right, like this. But again, I'd probably be constantly doing this to bring this hair down in terms of the thickness of it. I'm probably going to be constantly using this brush, this uh, Furidin brush. And if you guys are interested in this brush, I got this brush from Amazon. I didn't get the original one that other people were using. I got a knockoff, but it works just as well, I think. I think I'm going to um, sort of do a flip over on the left side. I'm just going to take my fingers and flip this over because this sort of reminds me again of that other Nisha that I had. And I think, you know, the flip over was a real popular uh, style when I was wearing it um, on that other unit. So if you guys are interested in Sensational Textured Lace Wig Kinky Edges, 13 by 6 bob 14 inches. I am wearing the color M44. Okay? Alrighty. So you guys keep watching because I am coming back with the Dashley in just a second. Okay, you guys. Now that you've seen me in this unit, we are moving on to the Dashley unit. Again, she's the new Salt and Pepper HD Lace SP, which is Salt and Pepper Lace Unit 8 in M51. And this unit does not have uh, a 13 by anything. She is just a lace part. So this is what she looks like. I think I showed you before. Real curly unit. Um, one thing I'm going to do differently with this unit is, if you notice here, she is all gray and I am probably going to dark root her. Now I know that some of you are going to say, why would you dark root a gray wig when gray roots are what come out? And that's true. but. With wigs, I like to dark root them because I just think it looks good, okay? So if you, for you guys who are really, um, um, I guess, pragmatic about it, sorry, you can always wash out this uh, mascara if you put it on. But I just, uh, and you notice I haven't taken this shoot off yet. <laughs> I like this dash, this um, 13 by four. But uh, yeah, if you dark root this unit, you can always take it off. So I'm gonna go away and put this on and dark root it, and I'm gonna show you how I do that. Be right back. Alrighty, so I've got her on my mannequin head, and it's real simple. I'm just gonna use this mascara wand. I took some of the excess mascara off of it so it wouldn't be really messy, and all I'm gonna do is just start going along the edge with this mascara wand, just a little bit. Sometimes you're gonna get the hair caught up, so just try to keep control of it. But I'm just gonna do a little bit of a dark root on her and I've done this on other units and like I said I know that you purists are gonna say it doesn't come in dark and you're right it doesn't but I wanted to dark root this because I can now the part is not that long it's not that long of a part but I'm just gonna do a little bit of dark rooting on it that's all that's it. And there's really not much else to do. You can take a regular brush or, well, yeah, you can take a bristle brush and just start brushing into it so that it kind of moves along and it's not like real thick and stuck there. So you notice the difference? You just brush it in a little bit. 
Just brush it in a little bit so that it's not real obvious. And there, you got a nice, you know, dark rooted part. And the other bonus for having a dark root on a gray unit like this is that when you put powder in here, it looks much more natural with a dark root than it would if you did not put the dark root in here, okay? If you put powder in there without a dark root, it just looks weird, in my opinion. So it'll look much better once powder goes into this part. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and do it now, even though it's not on my head. I'm going to go ahead and put some powder in this part because the powder is going to look much more natural since it's dark rooted than it would look if it were not. Alrighty, yeah. I have dark rooted it and I am going to put her on my head now. Again, she's a side part. She is a right side part. Yep, she's a right side part. And there's no plucking involved. So for some of you that will be great. No plucking involved. I'm just trying to get her on my head right. Okay, so this is what she looks like just plopped on my head, okay? This is just her plopped on, all right? And these curls, I guess it's going to be your preference as to whether you pull them out or keep them the way they are. But see, here's my dark root. I love it. I think it looks natural. I think it looks better than it did without a dark root. Let me find my comb so I can make this uh, look right. I feel like I've got some hair here in the way. All right, I need a little bit more powder on this thing. In the front, it needs a little bit more powder than it did on that mannequin head. Okay, all right, so there's my dark root. There's my powder. Okay, so with this unit, Oh, okay, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start messing with the curls to bring them out just a little bit. This wig is giving me, um, what was the name of that wig? I can't remember the name of that wig. I did a wig not long ago. It was a main concept wig. And, uh, and the only reason I mention in other companies is because even though Sensational sent me this unit they did not sponsor this video they just sent me the unit and said i could review it or not review it and so that's what i'm doing so i'm not going to worry about mentioning other companies in this uh, review but i did another one another um unit that was curly like this and until i brushed her all the way out i didn't really love her this one i'm not going to pull all the curls out i'm just going to pull some of them out so that i still have this curly look especially on this side so I'm just going to gently pull on these until they start coming out, but not, you know, so they're not as curly as they were. So this side, I am not only going to pull these out a little bit, but I'm probably going to take some of these front ones and cut them so that I can have uh, a little bit of a dangling action going on here. So I'm just going to take a few of these in the front. Let's see, probably just these here. And I'm going to cut these off. So they're not as long as the rest of them. So I can kind of do a little, you know, a little short thing. <laughs> and as I pull these out, um, I may cut them a little bit more. Um, you know what color this reminds me of, even though this is called M51? This reminds me of Gray Fox. Now, you guys who know me and have been watching me know how much I loved Gray Fox when I got that unit from uh, Rose Seduction Rose. You guys know how much I loved that Gray Fox wig. It was, um, it was straight, but it was kind of, um, it was like a body wave, I guess you could say. I'm starting to really dig this, you guys. Yeah, I am. I think I'm going to cut these. My scissors. I think I'm going to cut these. Yep. Yep, and I'm going to cut these just a tad bit more. Just a little bit more. Ha <laughs> I think this is too cute. Okay, tell me what you guys think. Now that I'm done messing with this thing, I love the dark root. I love the shorter curls in the front. I love the fullness of this unit. 
This is adorable. This is adorable. And again, imagine what this would look like in another color. Like, for instance, the color that she's wearing here. Imagine what that looks like once you mess with it, you know? And the other colors that it comes in, I don't have my glasses on, but I'm going to try to fake it to let me get a 1, a 1B. Now, see, I think a 1 or a 1B would look great in this unit. Um, a 2, an HL 1B34. So a 1B34 is going to be a dark gray and black. So I think that would be pretty. Um, HL 280-44 is going to be a medium dark gray and uh, a 44 like uh, the last wig. The last wig was a 44. So it's going to be a mixture of a medium dark gray and a 44. Then they have a 3451. And that is, a 34 is like, well, a 34 is what my natural gray was, and I can't really explain it. And the 51, of course, is this, what you're seeing here. Then, of course, the M44, which is the exact same color as the wig that I did just previously. So I think that would look really great. I think this wig would look really great in this M44. Let me grab it again. I think this wig that I have on would look great in this color. I think it would look great in this dark gray. Okay, all right. It also comes in, for those of you who don't want gray, it comes in a 2 slash 27, a 2 slash 30, a 2 slash copper, and a copper red, which is that girl on the front that you see here, the copper red. But I think this is gorgeous, and I really think that she would look great in these other colors. And these Dashley wigs are not expensive. I think the last time they put out these salt and pepper units, they were like $25 to $28.00. This one, again, is brand new. I have not seen this one released yet. Sensational sent me this one and the number seven, which I'm going to do next week. Those are two brand new salt and pepper units. This one and the, one that they, the other one they sent me, the number seven. So when this comes out, you guys need to jump on it, whether you get it in color or whether you get it in one of those grays. Because the cool thing I love about this, and thank you so much, Sensational, is that they've got like five grays, five grays in this unit. So I love that, because that kind of covers the gamut of gray. I don't think this kinky one comes in that many grays. This kinky one only comes in, well, this one comes in three grays. That, that, the kinky one I did before comes in three grays. It comes in a 280-44, a 34-51, which is the one that, um, no, that's not one. I have a 30, I they have a 34-51 coming next week, and the M44. So yeah, so that one comes in three grays. This one comes in five. So shout out and thank you, Sensationelle, for coming up with more gray colors. Great. This is awesome. I love this. So if you guys are interested in this one, which is called HD Dashley Salt and Pepper Lace Unit 8, which is an M51, <clears throat> she should be coming out soon. Like I said, I have not seen her online yet. I have not gone to the stores to see if she's in there. But... I think this is gorgeous. Now, it's hot. It's hot outside. This unit has the cap that's ventilated, which is good, but it's still kind of hot out. So you might want to get this and save it for the fall because this is a lot of hair, just like the first one. The first one's a lot of hair, too. So, yeah, if you guys are interested in this, uh, just keep an eye out because it's coming. Keep an eye out. And I love this. I love this so much. I think I'm going to get another one. Since they gave me this one, I'm going to keep this one. Matter of fact, I might sell this one to one of you guys, if you don't mind the bangs being cut. I might sell this one to one of you guys and get another color. <laughs> I might go get myself... Uh, I think I might get the M44, like the first wig. Um, or 281B would probably re be really cool because it's just got a hint of gray. The 280 is just a hint of gray and then black. So always keep that in mind about 280. It's just a hint of gray and black. So yeah. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next week when I bring you another Dashley unit and another Kinky Edges unit. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.